In this Figma training video, we're going to start working on prototyping. Now, prototyping is where we visualize what our project is going to look like in the emulator. So inside of uh, your Figma file, I'm going to click on desktop layout. So the frame containing the page we want to prototype. And I'm going to go over here on the right side where it says uh, present and I'm going to hit that play button. It should open up a new tab where it's going to now play the prototype of your page here. And as you can see here, here's our entire page here. I can't scroll or do anything because we haven't done anything with it yet. I'm going to click back on our tab here. The first thing we want to do is we want to prototype. So we need to reduce our frame size down back to a standard screen size. So I'm going to reduce it by clicking and dragging here the frame. And the size I want is 1920 by 1080. So you can drag or again come up here on the height and do just type in 1080. And now we've got our actual size here. So I'm going to hit play again and then pop it in. And you'll notice now that when it reloads, it's now 1920 by 1080 emulating a standard screen. But I can't, uh, everything is clipped and I can't actually scroll the page. So we're going to fix that next. The next step you want to do is we want to be able to see the rest of the content here. So again, I've got my desktop page selected. I'm in the design tab. You can see here I've got clip content uh, selected. So I'm going to uncheck that. The next step I want to do is, and the clip content is just so you can see your content here. It didn't disappear, it just basically was hidden. I want to click now on the prototype tab on the right hand side. And with our desktop frame, desktop layout frame, our, our, our top level, you can see that under prototype and the scroll behaviors, we have no scrolling. I'm going to click and hold there and select vertical scrolling. So now it says vertical. So hit the play button once again. It's going to reload the, pa the page and the project is now 1920 by 1080. And now you can notice that you can actually scroll the page like you would a standard website. Now, none of our navigation systems are working yet, so we're going to work on that next. Click back over. And uh, now inside of my navigation, I've got basically a uh, group here and a component. And I drilled down into my menu items. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit so we can see them. And you can see these are actual just text items that are grouped. So I'm going to select the web here, the very first item. Now, what I want to do is I want to link this item down here to my web design section. So before we do that, I want you to take a look here. And you can see by the icon that the web design section is a group. If I toggle it open, I have the actual text, my label, and the actual section, which is just a block right now of color. So they're grouped together. Notice that the web, graphic, UI, everything is labeled properly, and that's going to be really important here in just a minute. Let's hold the space bar, go back up, and up here where it says web design, I'm going to now select the actual web design text. In my prototype, I'm going to go to my first section here called interactions and click the plus button. When I click the plus button here, you can see my option is on click, on drag. There's quite a few options there, but on click, it's set to nothing right now. I'm going to select none. And I'm going to say scroll to, select scroll to, and now you select where to scroll to. And you can see now why we had to label all of our sections here. Here's our web design section. And if you look all the way to the left, you can see I've got the correct section there. So now you can see it adds a little visual arrow to show, hey, when I click here, it's going to scroll down to this section instantly here. If you notice, every time we change something in, the, in our interactions, it basically gives us another option. So I don't want it to be instant. I want it to actually animate. And I'm going to leave the default animation. There are some here that you can experiment with, but the ease, ease out is fine for this for right now. I can close this out and I'm going to click play here. And it's going to reload in our prototype window. When it reloads now, I can still scroll. And you can see graphic design doesn't do anything, but you can see the highlighted text here. Web design will actually scroll the page to web design. Now I can actually scroll back up with the mouse to get back up to the top there. I think I'd like for this to stay put here. So let's go back inside of there and we're going to do some more buttons here, but we're also going to make it not uh, scroll. So that way we can easily move around. So let's repeat here before we jump on something new. I'm going to select graphic design. I'm in prototype up here, add an interaction on click. I want it to scroll to and I'm going to select the graphic design section and I want it to animate once again and I can close that one. 
I'm going to select UI UX. We'll repeat this again. Add an interaction on click. Scroll to. Select the UI UX section. And again, I'll leave that one instant so you could see the difference. Okay, we can close that one out. Let's go to illustration. On illustration, again, add an interaction on click. We're going to scroll to. Select the illustration section and animates. Close that one out. Encoding, actually, I don't have a coding section. I have a whole nother page here. So if I zoom out, you can see I've got a desktop coding page here. What I'm gonna do is on code there, I'm gonna select that one, add the interaction, but on click, it's not gonna scroll to. I'm gonna uh, instead click navigate to, okay, navigate to. In this case, now you notice I can see my other pages and I've only got two pages here. So desktop coding. So now it's saying I'm going to go to that one. Okay. Instantly, um, because that would emulate a actual um, web page click. So I'm going to click play here. It reloads and we can see web design will scroll. I'm going to manually scroll up. Graphic design goes, Let's scroll back up. UI UX. Now this is instant. Watch. No scrolling. You see it just instant is just instant. It just basically pulls it up. Illustration should also scroll, and then coding is now going to take us to the coding page. But no, notice that these were not coded at the, um, they were not coded up here at the component level, they were coded at the page level. So this particular page here, this component does not have the link. So you do wanna make sure that you go through this process at the component level, so that way it works on all pages. So going back to here, the other option that I wanted to do is I want to just come up here and select my navigation group. And under navigation, under the prototype tab, you see here it's still the default is scroll with parent. I want to change that and just make it fixed so it doesn't scroll at all. Fix, stay in place. And let's hit play one more time. It's going to reload the page here. And now when I click web design, it's going to scroll. If I click graphic design, UI, UX, illustration, see the navigation is now fixed and that helps because now if I want to go up I don't need to scroll I can just click web design and it scrolls up for me you see I can go up and down depending on what it is that I choose to do okay so let's go back in there so again that's how you do the basics of prototyping keep in mind that if you're doing a navigation that'll be available on multiple pages you do want to go into your assets and into your actual component and actually make your changes at the component level. That's all for this video.